Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Rockport, Texas, right on the Fulton border. Looking at Aransas Bay. Looking east. Sun officially came up eight minutes ago, but we haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Cloud cover. The dread of every YouTuber. I got stamps. There's your postcard. Here comes the sun. Bet you that would make a catchy song title. Just coming up over the clouds, man. Thought we'd go in for a little zoomy zoom. Feels like there's a good breeze going. I didn't look it up. But I'm saying somewhere between 8 and 10 miles an hour. I don't see any of our bird friends this morning. <laughs> it's the weekend. Our bird friends are sleeping in. We got uh, pretty heavy rain come through around 5 a.m. this morning for about a half hour. I know they got rain everywhere from San Antonio to Austin to Dallas. But we just got a outside stray cloud out of that system. And we're still waiting for the cooler weather. It is a gorgeous day, guys. I'm heading over to my Bible study. And I'll be back with you guys in uh, an hour or two. Thinking of my friend Kathy in Australia. She likes to rescue stuff and repurpose it. Free stuff. I'm pretty sure that said, like, free crap yesterday or free junk. <laughs> And for the record, Bible study went very well today. So my knee is basically, my left knee especially, is basically not working today. But I think I'm going to try to go to the new bookstore that uh, Wayne told me about. <laughs> I wound up picking up three books, Elevation by Stephen King. Didn't even know that existed. Killers of the Flower Moon, that's the book I came in here for. And one by the owner, Christy Miller. It's not just a business transaction. Check it out if you're in town, guys. I really enjoyed that bookstore and uh, the owner, Christy. Very pleasant, very helpful. If you get a chance, if you live here in town, or when you come to visit, I would definitely check it out. I'm gonna do a drive-by on Luciano. If he's here, uh, he might not be here today. He's not here today. I guess he decided to stay at the church. Hey, Luciano. Hi. How's your day going? Okay, and, and they said it was going to be rainy, but it's uh, sunny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, people on bikes are stopping by. <laughs> and I want to thank all those people that have been helping me. Oh, yeah, you got some nice birthday presents. Mm -hmm. So when you need something, let me know. And I, I got your, your money here, and I can pick it up for you. And, uh, yeah, a, a lot of really nice people um, sent stuff. 
And here is Nancy. <laughs> Exit, stage left. Is there anything you need now? Hi, Nancy. Uh, could you hey. bring me some uh, uh, ice. ice and some barbacoa? I, I, you want that now? Oh, sure. Today? If you have time. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay, I'll be back. Thank you. All right, see you in a little bit. Look at this pretty guy. We dropped Luciano off a pound of barbacoa, six tortillas, and some pico de gallo. He was happy. We got him about 15 pounds of ice. And uh, that's the first time I've been able to film him in four or five days. He is definitely flustered, but not horrible today. So I asked him if we could film and say thank you. And uh, we tried several times. Look at the twins, guys. Um, to get him to do names and stuff, and he he just couldn't do it today so um i told him individually before this guys who sent him gifts and he's very grateful he's just uh he's struggling the last week or two it's the heat it's not going you know he's having trouble with the church and i don't think it's him i think it's the other people at the church so we shall see but when I left him, he was a happy guy. So thanks to all of you who sent Luciano gifts. Greatly appreciated. I can't believe at 4.18 in the afternoon, I'm just getting to the beach. I've been running around all day. Did I walk yet? Nope. Did I read? Nope. Can I get those things done before I go to bed tonight? I think I can. Did I get Eugene any fish today? No, I did not. I need to, I need to get my fishing license again so I can throw the cast net. And if I'm going to get a fishing license, I might as well fish occasionally, right? That way I can have 8,400 people telling me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Life choices. Can you guys kind of hear like bell music? They're having a wedding over at the pavilion about 200 yards away. And me and Eugene are just staring at the water. I did just check the back of the truck and make sure I don't have any more black mold. I didn't spot any anywhere. It's so small back there. Um, when I'm in there, I don't really notice. It's comfortable. But when I open it up and look, I'm like, how do I, how do I fit in there? <laughs> Do you know how much room you need to grow black mold? As much room as possible. As much room as possible. Little little fungi joke for you there. Little American oyster catcher in the sunshine doing his thing. Obviously has places to be. <laughs> I just saw a boat go by, no dogs, no girls in bikinis, just two guys out for a ride. They weren't even fishing. What the hell's the purpose of even having a boat? <laughs> Thanks for riding along today, guys. Wonder what kind of palm tree that is. Don't worry about Luciano, everything. Everything's going to be all right this morning. Oh, yeah. Everything's going to be all right. Right? I think so. Thanks for watching.